Hey everybody, Guy in the Cemetery here. Uh, glad to be back. The weather's warming up. Uh, wanted to get back out there and start making some more videos. And here we are. Today we're at the Union Chapel Cemetery. Um, I'll put the location down in the description. Uh, this cemetery was uh, established in 1822, I believe. I read on the sign out front. Uh, I actually, I guess this is probably a considered a graveyard uh, because there is a church attached uh, to the to the uh, cemetery area. So I guess technically this is a graveyard. So let's take a look around. So as I mentioned earlier, it's been a while since I've been able to do videos. Uh, been really busy with work, um, uh, but I'm excited to get back out there because it is warming up and uh, the weather today is beautiful. Um, as you know, I'm actually in Indianapolis, uh, but I'm really gonna start to uh, try to get out and uh, explore cemeteries far beyond Indianapolis. Um, but this is just kind of my, my uh, video to jump back into it um, just because I've kind of been hiber hibernating um, since uh, the weather got cold and but now that uh, it's great because uh, COVID's kind of on the wane or waning and uh, the weather's getting warm so uh, it's a really good time to start getting back out there um, so yeah this is a really nice cemetery um, well I would estimate there's probably five hundred maybe six hundred uh, graves in this cemetery um, I haven't really looked to see the age of them yet uh, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look around now this one's really nice uh, I like the uh, it's got some character here looks like we got Clyde um, I think from the Clint Eastwood movie, uh, Every Which Way But Loose, I think. Someone can correct me in the comments. Uh, but we got Clyde, and it looks like he's holding a, a Raiders helmet there. And uh, he's got a rabbit in the other hand. And I think that's the dolphins down below. So uh, must be some of the things that uh, Mark or Becky enjoyed when they were alive maybe some fishing too uh, but I really like when uh, graves include uh, some of the likes and dislikes of uh, the deceased gonna kind of walk around and see if we can find some interesting tombstones I'm um, gonna mix up my my videos a little bit uh, last year some of the early videos when I first started this I didn't really know what I was doing and and I've got a lot of people kind of uh, wanting me to to chat I guess a little bit more and to learn more about me uh, so I'm going to try to do that for you guys and still keep uh, some of the things that I did in past videos. I'm going to put those in these. I really like the, the engraving of the name here in this tombstone. Jackson. Uh, I think it's really pretty how sharp this is. How sharp the name is. And I'm also kind of partial to uh, the moss that kind of grows on tombstones. Kind of gives it character, I think. It 
That's an interesting name. We got Mamie. Mame? Mamie? Mamie Bowen. This one's also kind of interesting. Uh, George Bowen. Uh, it says interred at interred in Crown Hill Cemetery. So maybe they bought this plot at some point, and uh, maybe maybe George got married or something, and uh, him and his uh, bride maybe got a joint uh, grave at Crown Hill. Uh, so he wanted to post this here to. I guess maybe inform people where he was actually buried. So that might be an empty grave there. I think this one's really nice. We have like this uh, simulated urn. It's a it's a sculpture, but it, it it looks really pretty. I think Geneva and Claude. Marilyn Louise Shirley and Arthur Shirley it says do not cry for my departure I am with God and I pray for you I will love you from heaven as I loved you on earth nice Celtic symbol on this tombstone It's always interesting when you see bursts of color in the uh, cemetery, uh, especially in the you know in the spring and in the winter when it's cold. There's no leaves and no flowers blooming, so you see something like this, man, it really pops. And we got uh, Minnie was a cat lover here. So let's, uh, her cat's falling down. So let's set her cat up. See up here we have, it says, Our Parents, I believe, uh, Catherine, and it's hard to read this name here, it's like maybe last name Coyle, wife of Jacob C. Coyle, I think is what that says. Yeah, and down here we have the name Coyle, uh, but you can see right here, Jacob Coyle, wife of Jacob Coyle. So I think we're going to make our way back over to the other corner there, see where the church is. Um, there's some older tombstones, some that looked pretty interesting, so I want to go over there and and uh, have a look, so let's go.
we're gonna check out this little stand of uh, graves over here it's kind of interesting looking uh, as I said this is uh, one of the older areas so maybe these are just really old tombstones and uh, I don't know yeah these look very old in recognition of Jacob Whittinger Marion County pioneer who established this burial ground for the good of the community and we're actually in Marion County so just uh, for context boy these are really old very pretty uh, and it says Jacob there you can see up top so this is actually Jacob's grave Jacob and Elizabeth. So that's uh, Jacob's wife. Wife of Jacob Whittaker. And maybe his children here. front here see if we can see some more interesting stones this is much bigger than I thought I've driven by it a few times uh, but never ventured in and uh, yeah it's, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be We got a fairly new grave here, uh, no stone. Looks like we maybe have a palm frond there, so maybe this person was Catholic. Maybe this was a uh, um, maybe a Catholic burial. Not really sure about that. pretty quiet back here there this uh, cemetery is actually kind of surrounded by uh, some office buildings office space um, so I guess maybe that's why it's kind of muffling some of the traffic there's a pretty busy highway uh, not too far from here uh, but uh, yeah it's kind of fairly quiet and peaceful I guess it's a pretty good place to Spend your eternal rest. Got lots of trees, get some water over there. This little river. You got a gnome. Got this gnome guy here. Hanging out with Gene. Gene Kinslow. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take but by the moments that take our breath away. Looks like these are all, um, pretty much all infants, babies. Born in Silence, Elena Mount. That's sad. The baby graves always make me uh, a little sad. I have a couple kids too. I love them very much. Uh, so I can definitely empathize with uh, parents who lose their children. It's, it's a hard thing.
glad when these trees all have leaves on them again. This was kind of a hard winter. I don't know if it was hard for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I mean the past two years has been hard for everybody, I think. Uh, so, it'd be good to have spring, right? Flowers and trees and swimming and camping. Whatever you like to do when it gets warm. It's just around the corner, right? I see a uh, nice grave up here. We'll check that out before we wrap it up. Now this one's kind of cool. Right here. Kind of neat. Kelly, John Kelly, and Francis Kelly. Uh, died 1914 and 1926. Uh, this is the one I was heading towards. You can see here. Gone but not forgotten. Roberts. That is a big tombstone. Very nice, Martin. Stewart. Alright, well we got a few more graves up front uh, that we're going to go take a look at and uh, I think we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you, if you dig these videos. I uh, hope to make lots more. Um, Thanks for watching.